I've got the proof. I've got it right here in my nicotine-stained fingers. No, it's not the blank paper that I'm holding that I'm rattling around for, for sound effect. Uh, I mean, the media is such a show anymore these days. you got to know how sound works. But no, it's right here. I'm, I'm looking at it. Donald Trump listens to Jesse Steele. They, no, they say, I mean, he doesn't read books. He gets his ideas from someone and it's obviously me. I, no, but well, don't you read it? Do, well, you know, it was right last, the, the, well, that's, no, I just put your, what, what, good, what, what are you, Stephen Miller on my show here to put your hand down. You, I can't even, I've got it. Okay. You know, you've got one audience member that you're concerned about and, and you're being obsequious with him and trying to, that's right. The audience doesn't know what obsequious is. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you probably know what obsequious means because you probably already looked it up. But for those of you in Read Rapids, obsequious means that you do something to try to appease and please someone. I've I, no. I, George is off. The, I I pulled his plug. I'm I'm just I'm gonna cut. I'm not gonna bore the audience with him. Okay. Trump. No, his January four tweet was about you know without him putting pressure. That, that, that there wouldn't be these talks. and But, I mean, talks probably won't go anywhere, but they're always good. But, 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 without pressure from Trump, they, 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 they would... Folks, I put that in the editorial for Pacific Daily Times on January 2nd, January 2. Again, I, today's news yesterday. I already said it. I'm, I, I continue to live ahead of the game. I'll, I'll, I'll get into it at some point, but... Uh, is that, I, I, I don't know what else, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to talk about my life? I mean, that's, that's what happened this week. I was right. Is that really news? No, I guess it's not news. Fine. Fine. I'm just going to get to the point. Donald Trump and Steve Jobs made the same career mistake. They listened to experts when they already are the experts. Taking advice from people who know more is always a good thing, but that doesn't always mean taking advice. Sometimes that means trusting your own instincts. How do you know whether to take advice or to advise yourself? Proof. Look at your track record. Does your history, your resume, your folio, your record, your wake of failed kamikaze attackers prove that you knew what was coming when your opposite opinion advisors still don't fully get it? If so, listen to history. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.